Hey everyone, it's Tracy here. Today I'm going to be making a card using the alleyway stamps along with a stencil and some distress inks. So to get started, I have a sheet of white cardstock. This is the 110 pound cardstock from Coordinations. And I'm going to be using the Garden Peony Blossoms from Memory Box. And I'm just going to place that right over my white cardstock and then use some washi tape to secure down the edges so it doesn't move when I'm inking it. This is a really pretty stencil. It's very delicate because the, um, all the flowers are really thin lines. So it's just kind of a nice background to add to your card. I have three different distress inks that I'm going to be using. I'm starting with the lightest, which is the Spun Sugar. And I'm just going to kind of apply that all over my mask, or my um, white card stock. Now, when I did this, it actually started, the paper underneath it started moving a little bit. So I would suggest um, taping your cardstock down to your sheet as well. But in the end, it kind of added a cool effect, which you'll be able to see in the end photo. It kind of looks um, a little bit 3D, actually. So now I'm going to add my next color, which is a worn lipstick. And then my last color I'm going to use is the ripe persimmon which is a little bit more orangey. So then when I'm done putting that on there, I'm just going to peel my stencil back and then set that piece to the side. Now I'm using this stamp set from the Alleyway Stamps. It's one of the new ones from the June release that's called Fly By. And I just picked out this butterfly. It's kind of one that's like uh, more the side of the butterfly. You only see one side of the wings and I'm gonna stamp that also on a piece of coordination's 110 pound cardstock with tuxedo black memento ink because I'm going to be coloring it in with my Copic markers before I color that in though I'm gonna pick out my pattern paper that I'm gonna use for the background just to make sure that I match the um, colors for what I'm gonna color in the butterfly this is called garden party from Pebbles. I think it's one of their newer collections. But um, I picked out this kind of like a corally and light pink polka dot paper. It actually matches my Distress inks almost perfectly. So after I picked that out, I just picked out some Copic markers that also coordinate with that. And I'm going to start by coloring in my butterfly with the RV11. It's a really light pink Copic marker. And then I'm going to um, keep coloring that part in. Um, it's going to be my main color on my butterfly. And this time I'm actually going to be um, keeping a white border around the outside, so I want to make sure that I stay inside the lines. And my next darker um, pink color is R32. And then the yellow that I'm going to be using is Y15. And I'm just going to add that um, to like the various spots on the wings and the um, antennas. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fussy cut that out, like I said, with the little white border around the edges. Now there are um, cut files that you can use um, for your die cutting machine, such as the Silhouette. Um, they're for sale um, in the Alleyway Stamp store. So if you're not a fan of fussy cutting, these are awesome to just um, have your machine cut them right out for you. And then you can... Cut it out as many times as you would like. Alright, so I'm going to take my um, white cardstock piece and then before I adhere my butterfly down, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So I just kind of laid my butterfly on there so I could get the placement right. And then I'm also going to use like the little dotted line that kind of shows movement within the butterfly, I'm going to stamp that um, two times onto the front of the card so that it looks like it's kind of flying from off the page. All 
Alright, so I'll go ahead and adhere that down onto my pattern paper. And then I'll use some 3D foam squares from Best Creation. And I can just use those to pop my butterfly up off the card base. And then I just took a piece of white cardstock, um, cut it the long way, so at the four and a quarter inches, and then folded that in half, and that'll be my card base. And then I'm going to use some sequins. These ones are from Avriel. They're just, um, they're actually, I think, the four millimeter white ones that you can get other places. And I'm just going to put a few dots of my Tombow Mono Multi Glue onto my card and then place a sequin on each um, drop of glue. Now, I like to use this glue. You can also use um, Glossy Accents or the Multi Matte Medium. They both, or all three of them, work well for adding the sequence down to your cards. And then my one last touch is to add my Wink of Stella. This is the clear glitter pen. I'm just going to add that onto the wings so that they sparkle. And then that will be my finished... Oh. Actually, one more thing. I'm going to add a little bit of glossy accents right into the eye. That'll just give it some dimension and then it looks like an eye. So that is my final card. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this card and I'll see you next time. Bye!